All right, me too. Just go ahead. Uh, you want to send me a challenge? All right, me too. Just All right, so yeah, five decks. Uh, you when you win with the deck, you can't use the deck anymore. First of five wins. All right, me too. Just All right, so yeah, five decks. Uh, when you win with the deck, you can't use the deck anymore. First of five wins. All right, so yeah, five decks. You too, Pablo. Yeah, I think, uh, I don't know. In real life, last time I played was like, what, San Jose? Yeah. Oh, whoops, I've had my microphone muted to the stream all this time. <laughs> whoops. Well, welcome, guys. Welcome to the to the best of nine against Azul. So sorry about that. Um, you guys can see his his side of the stream um, over at twitch.tv slash Azul. However, please don't um, please don't um, tell me what he has in his hand or whatnot. And yeah, <laughs> thank you for letting me know that uh, that the stream was muted. Thank you for letting me know. That's my bad. I completely forgot. It's something that I tend to do now, lately. And I'm doing well, Joe. How about yourself? Thanks so much for joining today. Thank you so much for joining today. Okay, so we're gonna see that Azul is playing Zoro Garb. So immediately we're at a big disadvantage here. Um, because I am playing the the Ultra Malamar deck. Um, I can post a list afterwards, non-traditional taco. I'll be very happy to do so. Uh, okay, so the DC is very threatening already. Um, I think I have to go for the Bridget here though. I don't think there's any choice for me. So I'll definitely get rid of Giratina. And I think I'll get rid of the Lily. And then we'll check our price cards. Definitely leading off with a bad matchup though. Definitely leading off with a bad matchup. Um, we have two Floatstones prized, which is not good. Hello, Josh. Um, hello, Vistazum. Um Okay, so we need to keep our item cards under control. The Zoarks are pretty threatening. Everything's pretty threatening. This is a horrible matchup to start us off with. Um, this is a pretty bad matchup, but I'm not, the, I'm not, like if we end up losing, this is a best of nine like conquest series. So if we end up losing um, to this deck, um, Azul won't be able to use this deck again. So that's pretty good. And yeah, welcome guys. Thank you so much for being here. A lot of the subscriptions from last month have expired. <laughs> Just noticed that. Okay. So Azul has the immediate knockout here. We don't know what else he has in his hand. We have no energy in the discard pile. Things are just not looking great here for us. Starting the Latios is pretty good. Like, if he only has one Latios, that's pretty lucky, but it's pretty good for him. Oh, and he does find the parallel. I have to get rid of the Lele. Oh, that's so sad, though. That is quite, quite sad. And he just goes ahead and evolves into the Garbotoxin. Okay. So, is that a good opportunity to try and buy some time here? Because that now the only way he can retreat that is obviously Kuzma. Right? So, 
So I think I'm gonna bring it up. And yeah, Mewtwo also protects the Latios, which is good. Hopefully he doesn't have the Kuzma immediately. Hello, Henry. Hola, Henry. Oh my gosh, the immediate Kuzma. The immediate Kuzma once again. Jeez. We're getting wrecked here. We are getting absolutely wrecked. Hello, Jedi. Thanks so much for joining. Okay. So things are not going well for us. And our ability isn't even activated. So I'm just gonna go ahead and stick them right here. Um, we are in B-string turns, and I do get this to evolve. I don't get a field blower, so Mewtwo will be taking 60 damage. Um, I don't see any way we can make a comeback. I generally don't see any way I can make a comeback. I mean, Azul doesn't have... any Zorark in play yet. So I think I have to go for this. Yeah, this is a terrible matchup. At least we get Zorogarp out of the way though. Hello, Joe bro. What does Azul have in his hand? Ooh. And, okay, so he was debating the end, I guess. Uh, Azul says you should play Buscarb at your cop. Buscarb's pretty decent. Buscarb is definitely pretty decent. Okay, there's the Evo Soda for one Zorg. There's the Evo Soda for one Zorg. So I do have Peace String. I really would like to take down this Latios though. Like this Latios is just completely wrecking me. <laughs> this is game one, bird boy. This is ga game one. Y Walter, no, ya no hay más videos en español, desafortunadamente. And that's pretty cool, Josh. Tell Parker I said congrats. Um. Okay, we can potentially take a knockout with Dawn Wings and something. He has three cards in his hand. Do I just go after the Lele? Because that's where he committed the energy to? I think so. I think it's what I have to do here. I mean, taking out the Garp is not ideal either. Um... Hmm. I don't think I play this. I'm just gonna Moon's Eclipse for the KO. Sunsung Greninja break for cops. Um, best of one is very scary for your Greninja for sure, but I mean, it is an option. It's definitely an option. Okay, so Azul gonna try to really take down my Malamar. Okay, he's just gonna break through. But we're finally gonna get rid of the Latios. And I'm hoping this N will actually hurt him. So I'm gonna bench this guy. I'm gonna evolve here. I'm gonna commit the energy to the Ultra. <sighs> Do I thin further? Um, no Travish. One, two, three item cards. I think I can afford two more. So I'm just I'm just trying to thin. I'm exclusively trying to thin. And I'm just gonna end him here. Just gonna end him. Um, get the choice band, which is not very useful. Well, it's kind of useful, I guess. Um, we just we need him to not find DC. That's what we need. And Ganon Tower, thanks so much for the follow. We need him to not have Kuzma. I mean, to not have DC. He immediately promotes his arc, though. That's bad news. Ooh, Professor Kukui, does he hit it? 
Gets another Zorak. Please pass. Please pass. Yes. Okay. That's what we kinda needed to get back into this. Kinda. Like very big kinda. Three cards in Azul's hands and we know there's no DCs there. So if I find, where's the poison barb? If I find a field blower here, if I find a field blower, I actually have a chance. So I'm gonna commit to finding that field blower. Um, I do run two and I haven't played any yet. And both are there. So Azul's lock hurting him. And okay, no field blower, which means no KO. I think I retreat here though. Because I got the psychic. So I'm just gonna photon geyser. We set up the two hit KO. And we're essentially one Kuzma away from winning. Uh, you won your first legacy deck with Keldio? Very nice, spicy chicken. Very nice. <laughs> Congrats. Okay, Azul has a floatstone to immediately, okay, replace that guy, um, ah, uh, that, uh, that was a good floatstone, that was actually a good floatstone, one, two, three, four, five, well, there's three, four, five, six, seven, easier to not look Pokemon against Azul. Should I just say come over here? I mean, I'm bound to hit the field lord, right? I am bound to hit the field lord here. Do I thin the metal? No, because I'm losing the beast energy here. This is gonna be this is gonna be close. This is actually going to be close. Um, I'm not. Yeah, I'll touch it. How many Mewtwo's? I'm playing... I think it's just one Mewtwo. <laughs> Ruben, thank you so much. Thank you so, so much. Okay, there is a Field Blower. So that means... Ooh, actually... Okay, we have two Field Blowers. So I'm gonna get rid of this and this. I'm gonna give us all trade. But at what cost though? We know there's a metal energy, so I'm just standing here. And if he uses Trash Alange to take the prize, that's completely fine by me because I have Thun Wings. So wow, I think we're I think we have the comeback here. I actually think we have the comeback. Now let me think, do I play this rescue stretcher? Does it even matter at this point? I'm gonna get end down to one. I am hundred percent going to get end down to one. So I'm gonna rescue Stretcher for the Lele and just keep the Lele in my hand. Um, should I play the Choice Band? I mean, the only way he gets a knockout on this is with this guy, right? Um, I think I do play the Choice Band because my win condition is Kuzma. My win condition is actually Kuzma, probably. And if he ends me down to one, what? How does Azul win? Let me think about this. How does Azul win? win? Um, in order to knock this guy out, he needs to use Trash Lash. But this this is fully powered up, so I'm good. I think. And if he doesn't take the knockout, if he uses this guy, if he uses Guzma, if he uses Guzma, his only attacker is this. Oh no, if he uses Guzma and knocks me out with Trash Challenge, that's how he wins. No, because then I recharge Guzma. He needs too many cards, I think. I'm gonna play the Choice Man down. Just in case of N. And then Photon Geyser. I was just making. Super duper extra sure. Hello, collab collapsing Gribble. <laughs> uh, 
Dawn Wings and Flowstone, which really don't help me too much. I think we have the the comeback here. Which is really odd. This should be a bad matchup. Most of the time. There's a Lele. No, aún no, Kevin. Aún no gano. There's the Lele. For N. Okay. Lele for N is fine. That means my Ultra Necrozma is surviving. <laughs> Hola, Kevin. Um, how am I liking Pressure Mewtwo? It's fine. I, I prefer Pressure Mewtwo over Dunwings because you're not uh, continually discarding. And the ability actually has some use. Some further use. Mr. Ray Lee, thank you so much for the bits. Very kind of you. Very, very kind of you. And yeah, N plus Garp can be a double-edged sword for sure. Oh, we hit the Sycamore. Um, we hit the Sycamore off of the N. So we have access to our whole deck. That means we have access to a Field Blower. Which means... Okay, we can't Field Blower here. Uh, we can't Field Blower here. Neither of us has abilities, though. And he has a Sycamore, okay. This is gonna be a close, a close finish. It's gonna be a close finish. Like, Guzma wins us the game. Oh my, DC and Choice Ban, jeez. Oh my. I can't take a more. Because I have no no energy left. I have no psychics left. One, two, three, four, five, six. Or do I? I do have field blowers and Kuzmas left. Uh I don't remember if I have a psychic energy left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I had no. He has Garbotoxin. I can't lately. I generally don't remember. Hey, Wildman. I generally don't remember, guys. If I have a a psychic. Just invasion. How? Are you slow rolling me, Pablo? No, no, no. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I don't remember if I have a a, <laughs> a last psychic in my deck. I'm pretty sure there isn't, but I don't. I generally don't remember. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, I don't think I have it. So I need to top deck. <laughs> As it was like, are you slow rolling me? No, I wasn't. Of course I'm not. He needs to commit another energy to the Lele. This is actually quite, quite a good game. Honestly, quite a good game. Yep, he commits the energy. I mean, he might not have the DT, right? Ooh, he plays the Mind Jack. That's good information. In case we end up losing this match, that's actually good information. And there's the energy drive. So Azul is now down to one price card. Azul is now down to one price card. What do we top deck? N. Ooh. Is that my win? Well, not my win. Is that my play? Is that my play? Because if I take a more, I can't win. If I take a more, I deck myself out. I think I just end here. That's an insane top thing. I end, and then he has to retreat. And neither of us have abilities. So he has to retreat into Zoark. And he has two turns to top deck DCE to win. 
He has two DCs left, 18 cards. And Zorak decks don't play that many supporters. He's already played three ends. He has Cynthia. Oh my gosh. No, <laughs> into one and he hits his out. Ah, oh, that was so clutch. That was so clutch. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me take note of All right, that. So I'm down Zoro Guard, <clears throat> and then yeah. when, uh, on the flip, I'll just make sure you go you go first on the on the flip. Yeah, no worries. And sorry, I wasn't slow rolling. I was just having a hard no, I just, time. <laughs> I was just messing with you, probably. Yeah, no, I know. It's just I had Sigma. I just wasn't sure if I had the psychic left. <laughs> Did you in my deck? But I didn't. I didn't. It was priced. Okay, so yeah, let me I've, take I've, notes really quickly. Yeah, I was pretty sure something had to be priced there. I yeah, was hoping yeah. Field Blower or a Guzma or something was prized. Yeah, no, I had Field Blower still, but uh, Field Blower wasn't good enough because I would have only dealt 100. Yeah. Okay. Um, let me just, I missed. Ah. <laughs> So many keys being pressed. Pama Gambler, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Very, very kind. Okay, so I can still use Ultra Necrozma. So I will send the challenge to Azul. Um, I'm going to switch it up. I mean, he's definitely going to have Baby Boss. Baby Boss. Um, he might have another Zorak deck. I'm going to go with Ultra Necrozma again. And I go with Ultra Necrozma. Keep him on his on his toes. Oh, this is Greninja. Jeez. <laughs> well, it could be Lapras, I guess. It could be Lapras. And yeah, I get to go first because he won. Um, okay. I'm not gonna bench the Ultra until I know what it is. If it's Lapras, I think I'm good. If it's um, Greninja, I definitely don't bench it. GG. Okay, it is Lapras, interestingly enough. It is Lapras, so this is gonna be an interesting match. Um, I'm not a big fan of Lapras, honestly. Lone Survivor, thanks so much for the host. I do have... I do have... Uh, Bridget here. So let's go for that. And there's a chance my Inkei goes down. Like, that deck can definitely... Um, go off pretty quickly hello Nabil thanks so much for joining um, okay so definitely get to in case do I get another ultra or do I get Dawnwings I feel like Dawnwings is a little bit better I feel like Dawnwings is a little bit better pink Rowlet 101 welcome welcome to the stream uh, okay so one psychic in the discard already I think I'm gonna attach to Inke. And I'm gonna retreat into the Lele. Just so I have two Psychics in the discard pile already. So that helps Dunwings attacking next turn. I could have just attached the energy to Dunwings, but I wanted the Lele up front. I don't want my Dunwings getting KO'd or damaged. Um, ooh, he leads off with a Jet Geyser. Interesting. Uh, okay, I'll give you an Inkei as well. That's fine. <laughs> el duelo anterior no te pareció reñido, Kevin. Estuvimos a nada. Estuvo muy bueno el juego. Yeah, last game was pretty good. Honestly, last game was pretty good. And yeah, guys. You can also watch Azul's perspective. And there, I believe the link is multitwitch.tv um, where you can see two different perspectives at the same time. Okay, so energy goes on to Lapras. We top the Kamalamar. I want to conserve my Guzma. Um, so I'm just going to Cynthia here. No, I get the wrong energy though. Oh, I get the wrong energy. I get the wrong energy. I needed a metal to start applying pressure there. Oh, that's very sad. That is very sad. Y no, Angelao, no. <laughs> Hello, Alex. Oh, uh, this is very sad. That was really sad. 
I did not bring Zorak Laganrock to my lineup. I do not want him getting more things with Brooklet. Ah, that was so sad. That was actually so sad. I would like to remove this Volcanion. Well, it's not that big of a deal, honestly. Now he has Octillery though, which is pretty scary. So I should take note. This is Lapras. Okay. So, once again, guys, five different decks. There's the Brooklet heal immediately. Gets another Lapras. And there's a Lele, so pretty good Abyssal Hand for him. Decides to spread out the energy, though. Decides to spread out the energy. <laughs> Um, yeah, every Zorak deck has a good Malawar matchup for sure. Every Zorak deck has a good Malamar matchup. Okay. At least Azul start is a bit on the slower end. No Lapras priced, clearly. No Lapras priced. And... Top deck, Ultra Ball. So I'm definitely gonna go ahead and get a Malamar with off of that. Um, okay. I think I'm gonna give up on this metal on the Inke. Just to make sure that I have the knockout on this Volk. Um, I was hoping... Jeez. I was hoping to get a... Um, Okay, I guess we can steal to it, but no, this is actually really bad. Um, I was hoping to get a choice band so I could lead, like I I could return the KO on the Lapras here. I think it's worth KOing this guy though. Imagine if there was a best of nine leak up, <laughs> that would be pretty good. Okay, so we take a knockout. No mana fee in play yet. Which is good. Um, Azul is ahead 1 0. Azul is ahead 1 0. Um, if he wants to take a knockout this turn, he needs mana fee. And there it is. Energy. Now he just needs Aqua Patch. That's fine. That's the KO. Um, so, yeah. And to the end, so perfect hand for Azul as a response to us. Our hand wasn't too promising. Um, the Rescue Stretcher plus the Beast String were going to help. Um, we essentially get that back, almost. Uh, but we still need to find an energy for the Lele. Still need to find an energy for the Lele. Okay. Or a Floatstone. So let me check my deck first. Ooh, the no, that doesn't help me. Uh, okay, so the other guy is here. Is the metal energy here? No. <laughs> my last metal energy is priced. My last metal energy is actually priced. So in order for me to take a knockout this turn, I need... Oh my, I need way too much. My other metal being priced, that's so silly. Ah, jeez, we're always one card off. I think I'm gonna have to use my GX. Yeah, gonna have to use B-String, get those two Psychics, and then he has three, six, seven cards in his hand. And he has played zero Guzmas so far out of four. Um, yeah, I, I'm definitely gonna GX him with a choice band. And do I just Ultra for Lele for N? I think I do, right? To reduce the chances of the Guzma. I think I do, to reduce the chances of the Guzma. And I keep a Guzma myself, because 
Manafi might be my win condition here. Maybe taking the first knockout was actually bad. Taking the first knockout, not being a being a non GX, probably a bad idea actually. Probably a bad idea. Okay, we get a decent ish hand, except I mean we get the Kuzma back, and we could get the metal energy. So I'm gonna attach the energy regularly, and I'm gonna psychic recharge once onto this Lele for free retreat purposes and then I will invasion and I will Moon's Eclipse so we really 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 need Azul not to have a Kuzma if we're gonna have a chance at winning this game that's the only way we're gonna win I think that's the only way we are actually going to win promotes the Lapras with energy uh, which does have free retreat. So if he needs to, he can just retreat and then Kuzma. Uh, plays a field blower. Getting rid of my choice fan, that's fine. We won't be needing choice fan here. Just aqua patch. Yeah, he's thinning his hand to to look for that Kuzma. He's gonna be hand for three, okay. Please don't get Kuzma. Hey Sierra, how are you doing? Thank you for joining us. <laughs> I said, hey, Sierra, and uh, C reactivated. Okay, N. Okay, so we lose the Kuzma, but that's okay. We don't get the Kuzma, though. Uh, no, we're down one game, and this is still a pretty tough match. <laughs> we're still in trouble, honestly. We are still in a lot of trouble. I think Azul promotes Lele here. He can't give up the Remoraid. Oh, okay. Decides to collect. Interesting. Oh, top deck Guzma. Top deck Guzma. Okay. So let's think this through. What's the best Pokemon that we can knock out here? Probably Octillery, right? Probably Octillery. Not, okay, not, well, no, not Manaphy. How do I have game? I don't have game, I'm down to three prizes. Manaphy is tempting, but if he ends me down to one, that's worse than end to two. Manaphy is not that important for him. And Octillery denies him cards. Like if he ends me, he, do he also doesn't have Octillery. Like, we still need to take two prizes. We're still... If I knock out Manaphy, I need one prize. And how do I take that one prize? I think it's Octillery. Um, sorry, this is a tough, a tough decision, Azul. <laughs> Don't worry, you're good. I think I have to kill Octillery. Manaphy, Manaphy is still there. Manaphy is still there next turn. And yeah, it's completely unnecessary. Just because I can take two prizes doesn't mean I should. Um, and yeah, I, I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna attach the floatstone anyways. I was going to attach the floatstone anyways. Se montará otro Octillery, pero lo tiene que encontrar. Y se montaría otro Manafi también. Yeah, I, I, need to, I need to take down Octillery, guys. I need to take down Octillery 100%. Because I still need to knock out another big Pokemon. Yeah, now it's up to Azul to end, exactly. He, now he needs to find Choice Band and N. Well, the GX also works, I guess. Field Blowers, my float. He had the Choice Band already. Maybe he doesn't. See? The Brooklet. Yeah. Knocking out Manaphy would have been the, the wrong decision. Oh, okay. I mean, he had everything, right? <laughs> he had everything. Oh, there you go. His second Octillery is priced. So we made the right call. 
and his sycamores. So now it's gonna be up to the sycamore. Uh, off of the sycamore, we need, we 100% need um, choice band and metal or beast energy. Because I'm gonna search for the for the dude. So the energy on Lele is also important. Oh, top deck the metal. That's game. Yeah, knocking out Octillery there, 100% was the right play. Like, just because you can take two prizes doesn't mean you have to take two prizes. We top deck two turns in a row, though. We top deck two turns in a row. Killing Manaphy, like, there was an argument to kill Manaphy because if he didn't evolve that Remorate, then... Oh, no, I didn't even have my GX. Never mind. Yeah, killing Manaphy was not the right way to go about it. Um... GG well played. So the good thing is we get a win. The bad thing is we no longer have Malamar to deal with his... Um, we can no longer use Malamar to deal with his puzzle deck, which he will obviously, um, obviously have. Yeah? So we can no longer use Ultron or Malamar. And we found out that his list is pretty straightforward. We found out that his list is very straightforward. Okay, so I'm not even gonna have it as an option here. Okay, so now we have to use a different deck. Good thing I brought two puzzle counters. Um, I'm gonna go Zoro. Well, no, I'm gonna go Baby Buzz. I cannot use the same deck twice. I cannot use the same deck twice. Let me turn on the fan real quickly, guys, because I'm uh, dying in heat. Okay. So we win the coin flip. That's cool. Um, Shadow Lab, thank you so much for the bits. Thank you so much for the bits. Yeah, always with the cool numbers. One, one, one. Thank you so Bro, much. Bro, let me go first. You won the last one. Oh, right. I'm sorry. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> no uh, do you want me to drop us or do you want to just restart? Yeah, yeah. I got it. Sorry. No, I'll just concede. Yeah. Just my bad. It. My bad. My bad. No, you're good. <laughs> I'm such a cheater. That was intense, that previous game. Yeah, that one was close. Both, both games have been pretty good, I would say. Yeah, definitely... Yeah, definitely so far. <laughs> Good luck. Here. I don't know about this one though. This one might be pretty lopsided for you. We'll see. Uh, Let's see how I draw. Yeah. Good luck, dude. <laughs> What's this puzzle card? Um, I assume he's playing Zorg here. Um, he is going first, so I will bench these. Uh. I will hold off on benching the Diancy for now. What's this puzzle card? Uh, Malmar, Ultra Necro, and Normal Necro count as different decks. Um, I think they do. Like, we didn't technically say so. I would argue they do. I would argue they do. Uh, we're gonna take the Mulligan, though, for sure. Leads off with Zorua. So we have the immediate KO here, which is nice. And he has Cynthia, not even Bridget. Pokemon and Wife, thank you so much for subscribing six months in a row. Thank you so much. That's so, so kind of you guys. Welcome. Um, welcome. And now you have the Blue Table Month subscriber badge. Thank you so much for joining us today. Oh my. <laughs> Okay, if I had the baby boss on the bench, I would be able to take down that Rockruff. Um, who has more points? Azul has more points. He has over 2,000 points. <laughs> um, geez. He has one card in hand. I think I just take the knockout, right? But he could actually knock me out back. Like, knock me right back. So I don't think I bench the Diancy. Because if he does... I mean, it's unlikely, I guess. One card. This is so weird. 
I should not. Oh, if I, I mean, I didn't know he was gonna have that bad of a start, right? Not attach basics because you want the basics to be alive for B string and um, and max elixirs. I'm just gonna Cynthia here. Well, I'll do this and then I'll Cynthia. That's why you don't want to attach basics. Um. Ooh. If I hit this, okay, my hand is really bad though. My hand is actually now pretty bad. So let's hope I get a good price here. My hand is now actually pretty bad. And that did not improve it. Okay, so he goes with the rock rough. He's just going all in. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Entire ball. Oh my. Is that DC? No way. No way that's DC. That's N. Okay. So if he doesn't get DC, baby bus survives. If he does get DC, we are in trouble. Oh my god, come on. Oh my god. Jeez. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. This is where we show the spice though. This is where we show the spice, the double rock rough. And I'm gonna grab baby buzz. Ah, what a what a top deck by Azul. I don't know if he top decked N or the timer ball, but <sighs> Okay. Um Decent ish hand. Um, this might deter him from attacking. I'm hoping he broke the heals. Like, I really wouldn't mind him using Brooklet Hill. We'll see, though. I can hit for up to 200 damage. It's just gonna be very difficult. But I can hit for up to 200 damage with Baby Buzz. And there's no way he can play around Sledgehammer. There's no way for him to play around Sledgehammer. Ah, what a start by Azul. That would be so sad. Oh my, is that double puzzle? Is that actually double puzzle? It is double puzzle, oh my gosh. Average. Both times Evil Soda has been just a riskier, uh, I mean, both times Timer Ball has simply been a riskier Evil Soda, both times. Having the second rock rough here is super clutch though. Super super clutch. I don't think he's gonna end up benching anything else. Um I need him to not find Kuzma DC basic. Or Kuzma energy to retreat. To knock out my energy rock rough. My play, my play might be to keep my bench low. Oh my. <laughs> I did build Greninja since Sir James. Oh, come on. There's a Guzma. Ah, oh, there's a Guzma. Yep. Like I said, we can't reach for 200 damage. It's just gonna be very tough. I oh or never mind. I don't think I have Red Rock in my deck. I think I took out Red Rock for the Rock Rough. <sighs> the perfect cards every time, every turn. Okay. I'm okay with the parallel because I have the brooklet. I think my best chance now is to B string. So I can never hit for 200 with this unless I find beast. So 
See, like that would be true if I had like if I had hit that elixir. If I hit the elixir, I would have been in a great stream. I mean, a great position, not in a great stream. Ugh. Jeez, we're just losing so much ground here. Oh, <laughs> and I top picked the B string. What even is this? Yeah, no Rage Rock. Okay, I think I just go for it. I mean, I think now I just hope for a float stone. Oh boy. Is that really my best play? Hope for a float stone? Yes, right? His board is pretty weak. Oh my gosh. I know I have one energy left only, so I'm not gonna max elixir. Do I just... I have... No, I don't have to GX actually. I think I save my GX for now. Ah, if he ends me, I need to be able to attack. Yeah, I need to absorption. If he ends me, I need to be able to attack. I'm counting slash hoping that he doesn't have return KO here. Ugh, two energy price. I'm counting slash hoping he doesn't have the return KO here. If he does, that's game probably no I think there's more value in keeping the the elixir alive as an elixir because it's only one card okay goes for rock rough that's fine ultra ball lele mallow mallow for whatever he's missing Uh oh. And okay, N two four. There's no way he hits floatstone plus DC off of N two four. No way. No way, Azul. No way. Uh, more trading. Come on. No way. Two DTs already, and double puzzle plate. I think this is gonna be game. I should add like a cool... I should add a counter for the matches. Um, text. Uh, that doesn't matter. Okay. Oof. So what's my play here? Guzma de Mew. Probably Guzma de Mew knockout with puzzle. I mean, I can still lose. I can definitely still lose. I'm tempted to KO a Zorg. Yeah, I'm generally tempted to KO a Zorark. I am generally tempted to KO a Zorark. Because the energy there gives him two options to knock out my puzzle. Is there any merit to knocking out the Rockruff instead? I think there is. Because this thing... Oh, he's, he's already played two Guzmas. I think I knock out the Rockruff actually. He's already played two Guzma, so he would need Guzma DCE. Because I'm still down to two prizes, and Mew is definitely more manageable, I would say, 
I think I knock out the rock up here. I think I knock out the rock rough. I mean, he would need Lycan Rock and Choice Band. Because now, if he uses Mew, then I win. <laughs> and I get good mouth prizes. Okay. So the the match the count is one one right we're at one one right now we are one one in this best of nine obviously I'm on the left this might be two one. There's the Lele. Does he have Guzma TT? Yep, he has Guzma TT. So Sledgehammer deals 30, 50, 70, 90. I don't have knockout on anything. Um, I mean, he was doing that to Thin though. He doesn't have the TT yet. Floatstone. Yeah, he needs to floatstone into a non GX. Ooh, go he had the third Guzma. I get may actually I don't know. Okay, so Sycamore means we win. Sycamore means we win. I think it was a very tough call. Like, without knowing Azul's exact counts, I think it was a very, very tough call. Now we're just gonna blow that Zork up. But, Buzzle, allegedly the best deck in the format. <laughs> Jillian, thank you. Rain, Zaraki, welcome to the stream. So now, we are up 2-1. to one against Azul we are up two to one and he gets to go first so this was baby puzzle like and rock against Zork like and rock and we won so we find out that Azul's list has um, three Guzmas three Guzmas okay so now and I'm glad he still has that deck. We know he still has Puzzle. So I'm gonna go Zoro Put now. Azul, what do you think? Was KOing the Rockruff there correct? Uh yeah, I think so. Um It was tough though. It yeah, was yeah, yeah. a tough decision. I'm pretty sure, yeah, because it lets you put your baby Buzzle active too, and so 